The revelation of new data has lifted the lid on a network of geological hazards that lie beneath parts of Yellowstone National Park, according to scientists studying the land in the region. With the help of LiDAR technology that uses sensors and lasers to map the ground beneath dense forests and other foliage data, it describes a prehistoric landslide and major earthquake that permanently impacted one of the world's most important and potentially dangerous geological regions. Visible scars from landslides and earthquakes also help scientists understand more about the risks of life in surrounding countries, which are now home to millions of people. Advanced geological surface mapping a process that maps the topography in a region and can help scientists gauge the risk of earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides that may have occurred in the region recently provides geologists and scientists with the clearest view of Earth about vacant land in Paradise Valley and along a corridor near the northern entrance to Yellowstone. Paradise Valley surrounds a stretch of the Yellowstone River in southwestern Montana, just north of the National Park. The land surface in this area is usually covered by vegetation that covers the land, so that some important characteristics of the land are difficult to see and study. However, using LiDAR technology, scientists have been able to collect a lot of data showing that the terrain in the region is littered with the remains of large earthquakes in the past at a rate never previously known. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, uses sensors typically installed on airplanes to survey large areas. This sensor emits a pulsed laser toward the ground and collects information about surface area as the light waves are reflected back from the ground surface and other objects along the sensor's path. Together with airborne GPS and ground control data, information collected using LiDAR technology is used to build high-resolution digital models of the naked Earth allowing scientists to virtually remove vegetation. Now a protected area covering some 3,500 square miles. Yellowstone National Park sits atop a volcanic hotspot that has been a source of great intrigue for geologists. Even though the likelihood of a volcanic eruption is extremely unlikely in our lifetime, writes geophysicist Michael Poland, with the U.S. Geological Survey. But studying the region remains important because of the possibility of earthquakes and destructive hydrothermal explosions, which have a greater chance of occurring in the future. The discovery made by peeling back the dense foliage covering the area allowed geologists and hazard experts to significantly improve hazard maps by enabling better characterization of the location, geometry, and activity of known faults and landslides, writes Jan Gavalot, a geologist with the Geohazards program at the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology. The same method helped them uncover a portion of bare earth with active faults along the Yellowstone Rim in August 2022. After the latest survey, geologists were for the first time able to see a network of faults that detailed uneven shifts in the land surface, where one side of the fault had moved vertically relative to the other. This land rupture was caused by an earthquake. It's an extension of a fault, called the Immigrant Fault, that stretches more than 33 miles, almost continuously from Tom Minor Creek near the northwest corner of Wyoming to Livingston, Montana, Gavalot said and scientists consider it evidence of a large magnitude earthquake in past. 6.5 or greater have occurred in the region. The data also revealed a small fault near Gardiner, in Montana, that is likely related to another fault system, the East Gallatin Reese Creek, which extends into Yellowstone National Park. It also shows numerous large prehistoric landslides that cover the landscape with great clarity, according to Gavilot. Some of these prehistoric landslides were so large that their flows stretched downslope for miles and at one point blocked part of the Yellowstone River in Yankee Jim Canyon, creating a temporary lake.
the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology is now working to update its statewide fault and landslide database with new information about Paradise Valley and the northern entrance to Yellowstone. This new data set provides the information needed to improve assessments of potentially dangerous faults and landslides for future updates in county and state level mitigation efforts for Paradise Valley and Northern Yellowstone National Park and contributes to the survey's National Seismic Hazard Map U.S. Geology 